If you've played bluegrass banjo for any length of time, you probably have heard the term banjo bounce. It's a certain way of playing your roles to where it creates a bouncy sound. To give a demonstration, I will do the same song, played evenly first, and then I'll show you what it sounds like with a bounce. I asked my love to take a The term shuffle in blues and swing in jazz have very much the same meaning as the word bounce to us as bluegrass players. We use the word bounce referring to the way we play our roles. Here is an alternating role played evenly. The count there is one and two and three and four. When we play it with a bounce, we put the and of the beat a little bit close to the following beat. One and two and three and four and. It's as if you're walking on uh, your legs and you have a sore foot. The sore foot, you're going to come off of that beat a little bit early and get to the next beat. One and two and three and four. To help you with the timing, you can also think of it as a series of long and short notes. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. In order to understand the feel of the bounce a little better, let's divide each group of notes into triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We then will leave out the middle note of each triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And here it is put into the alternating roll. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. An interesting thing happens with your banjo bounce when you play a forward roll. You're playing a forward roll, you have groups of three notes, so the first group would have a long, short, long feel, followed by a short, long, short feel. In the group of eight notes, it would sound like this. If you extend the feel of the forward roll over two measures, you come up with what's become known as the in the mood roll. There's usually going to be two last notes as you finish it. You hear that as a fill and backup in bluegrass banjo. Well, I'm rolling my sweet baby's own. Here's a notation you might see at the beginning of a piece of music where they want you to play it with a swing feel. Notice that the two eighth notes are meant to be played as a triplet where the first of the two notes lasts longer than the second note. One thing to keep in mind is to only use the banjo bounce where it's appropriate. I recently did a video where I performed the song Country Roads. And if you listen, it is played with an even feel. with a bounce doesn't sound right. When playing with a blues feel, you usually will add the bounce. Another place where it's common to hear the banjo bounce is when playing fiddle tunes. 
especially at slower and medium tempos. Verses. Either one is fine, some people just prefer the bounce. Another thing about the bounce is it sounds great at a slow speed. So you might be tempted to put that in as you learn, but if it's going to be a real fast song, it's hard to do that at a fast speed, so you want to keep in mind how would you play it evenly. No bounce in that. It's important when playing with a group to discuss whether they want the banjo bounce in there or not. Many people play the Man of Constant Sorrow with a bounce. But many play it without. So just choose what's appropriate. Speaking of bouncing, if you enjoy instruction videos like this, bounce on over to my YouTube channel and subscribe.